good evening i'm so glad that i could come back today uh, with a little bit of information about uh, amavasya which i wanted to share with you and uh, since tomorrow is amavasya which is 16th of july and we start amavasya around uh, 10:08 pm so i wanted to share a few things that you can do before that there are a lot of things that can be done there are a lot of things that can be banished there are a lot of things that can be blocked from your life and i think it's going to be a you know it's a it's it's a misconception that a lot of negative things are done on this night it's just a very very human thought as we know that people are becoming very crude very negative the world is going in a different uh, way and we can see so many disasters around natural disasters which are on and if we look at it they are all to be blamed on human beings because we are basically ruining nature's balance and that is something that we are doing wrong i think we need to put in some thought about a lot of things that we can change in this world and be in sync with this universe i always say that the universe runs on particular laws and if we abide by those laws everything that we want can happen every thought that comes to your mind we can be successful at it provided you think about it and most of us what we do is we think about what we don't want whether be it our insecurities our jealousies it is not easy to rise it is the it is by nature that everything has to go down because of gravity but the only two things that go up i always say is fire and smoke it is between the fire and smoke that one that is the abyss that we talk about the nothingness that we talk about the beauty of the space between the fire and smoke is all darkness and that is the darkness that i talk about that is the concentrated darkness that where you need to focus and where you can actually get everything that you want so what we want can be really really very um you need to have it very well defined what we want but the way we want it might not be according to what we like or what we want to have so that that is where the challenge is the challenging part is getting what you want and the way you want it so i don't think that is possible because what happens is whenever we want something uh, specific we lose a lot more we lose a lot of things that are around us we lose a lot of people around us we lose a lot of friend around us you need to understand that whenever we are looking for something and whenever we want something if you don't change anything now or if you want to become something else or if you want to become different than what you are right now then you have to do the things that you haven't done before for you to be there so i think it is very important that we focus on exactly what we want focus on something which is very important and get the get whatever we have learned till now from everything that is told us that something that is good or something that is bad or something which is which is people centric like 95% of people telling you or i think in in a very simple way if you see that 95% of the people are doing the same thing it's important that you don't do that and probably you find your way if you are the rebellious kind and if you want to have what you want to have because if you're listening to that 95% of the people i don't think you'll be achieving anything that you want because those 95% of the people have really not been able to achieve what they actually they wanted and all that they do is they believe that they cannot achieve or they cannot do and that is why they tell you that even you cannot do so remove all these misconceptions about purnimas and the amavasyas and we can actually focus on the power of these days and we can actually do a lot of spiritual practice around this time to begin with one thing what you can do is you can 
this is what I do at the entrance of the house and I think I try to maintain this every Amavasya a day before that which I have actually done today so near your doorstep you need to have um, you mix up turmeric I have had this in my previous video probably in Bengali that is why I am uh, you know, sharing it with you in English you can mix turmeric, you can mix ghee, you can mix uh, flour or atta you can mix a little bit of peppermint oil, you can mix nutmeg oil, you can mix cinnamon powder and make it into a ball which is like a something like a dough and you make a ring out of that and you put it from one side to the other of your door sill and make a, make three lines or four lines or make it like a you know cylinder kind of a thing which is stuck to the door what this does is it actually amplifies the goodness or the entrance actually becomes very magnetic and uh, it achieves I think what you can do is you can actually block a lot of negativity with that so I have added a lot of um, pyrite stones to it I put a lot of pyrites on that and I make some gold or silver um, glitters if you have or if you don't have you can also add gold foil to it so this is something that I do I regularly put mango leaves outside my house which is a very very traditional thing that it's not that I hang it all the time but what I have recently started doing is something I have started putting it in a vase <laughs> so in a flower vase so I think that also helps the idea is you can mix up a lot of traditional things with modern things and create your own thing I always believe in your own creation because you cannot do, you cannot connect to the divine with something that you have read on Google because it is everybody has their own experience and you are basically picking up things from others experiences but yes there are some tools that you can follow and which you can basically incorporate in your life to enhance those other rest of the skills that you have try and declutter the place as much as you can uh, decluttering by decluttering I would mean that anything that you haven't used for a long time and uh, probably watches that are stopped or uh, gadgets that are not being used or some machine which is lying somewhere or even clothes that we don't wear I think it can be easily given away or just kept outside the house for somebody to take it from you what you need to do is before you throw away your personal items either you spit on it or you take a thread or you take a lighter and you burn a little bit of part of it so that others don't carry your energy and I think fire is the best way to actually remove energy from anything apart from doing this what you can do is you take a bowl you take a glass I would prefer a silver glass if you don't have a silver glass a copper glass would do and if you don't have a copper glass a normal uh, glass would do a transparent glass would do you put in nine coins inside that and keep it behind your desk or behind some books behind behind some behind something don't keep it open just keep it behind your work table somewhere which is hidden and I think just see the energies change keep changing that water every seventh day or eighth day and you can use that water in your bath and that actually enhances uh, your energy along with that coin's energy along with that when you are adding this water to your bath you can actually add a few drops or pinches of uh, either turmeric oil or turmeric powder which can further enhance the qualities of turmeric with you and you can absorb all the auspiciousness that you desire before I end I always talk about uh, leaving some things for your spirits so what you can do on Amavasya is you can go to a crossroad you can either a T crossroad or a cross crossroad you can uh, keep a 10 rupee note or a 20 rupee note put a stick on note on it and you can write a small note for the person who finds it so the idea is make somebody happy in the day 
because a lot of cultures do believe that if you are if you find something somewhere you're not supposed to carry that but according to me when you find something somewhere it has certain power which is waiting to enhance your power so when you find something somewhere just keep it up just pick it up and if you wish you can give it to somebody else but if you wish you can use it for your magical purposes when you're doing rituals or when you're doing spells you can use it for that thank you very much for watching the video and i hope whatever i told you today you would be able to um, do a few things of that at least maybe a couple of things you can do and also i would like all of you to actually get out of the notion of this black and white and live a life that you want to live live life fully grow and help others grow i think that is what matters and that is what i believe in and i would always stand by it thank you so much